For the first time tonight from the 19 year old UT student who was carjacked early Monday morning. 10 News reporter Aaron Velasquez spoke with that student who requested we not show her face. This is how she says that experience has changed her outlook on safety in her neighborhood. Sierra Mason circled the Fort Sanders neighborhood Monday morning, faced with a familiar problem for UT students. There's no parking, so I had to circle long enough for someone to notice that I was circling and have the time to follow me and, you know, steal my car. Thieves that stole her car at gunpoint. I was just sitting in my car, maybe five minutes, and then I heard a tap on my window and I looked and it was a gun. Police say Sierra was carjacked here on 14th Street in between Laurel and Bridge Avenue. And UT's campus near 14th and White Avenue is just about a minute and a half's walk away from where the carjacking happened. Next thing I knew, both my doors were open. A guy was getting into my passenger seat, um, and then someone was pointing a gun at me, saying to get out of my car and run. The experience left its mark on this young student. I will say people knocking on doors around me kind of freaks me out a little bit. She grew fearful of her new university. I don't feel comfortable walking around campus anymore, really. A crime that she believes could have been the result of bad parking situations. Honestly, just parking is the biggest thing because I had nowhere to park and that put me in a dangerous situation, so. Sierra says no other UT student should have to go through what she did. Reporting in Knoxville, I'm Aaron Velasquez. Knoxville police say they are still looking for the suspects in that case, and if you have a tip, they want to hear from you. You can call East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers and remain anonymous.